Hello there, folks. Sega Starcraft bringing you Game 3. Empire Happy? Liquid Rat. Series is tied up 1 1, and we've had two fairly short games. We had um first game, which, if you don't want to get spoilers, go and check those things out right now. There should be a link for Game 2 down here, but if you want Game 1, check out my channel. Like and subscribe while you're there because I'm awesome. They give you great StarCraft action. But, Game 1 had what was a very interesting just stompage of a max strategy and happy lost. And game two was Rhett's trying what was I thought were very interesting Roach drop all in. Now Happy's usually known for going mech, but in that game he happened to go bio. And I think if he went mech he may have lost that game. He wouldn't have had the units out and the mobility to deal with it, but because he went bio, he actually stomped that all in very well and Liquid Red left. So we're at this game, it's the final game. And because you can see how long the video is right now, I don't mind telling you that it's longer than both the other games combined. So we're in for a bit of a barn burner here. We'll see what happens. And for the first time, I'm pretty sure this is the first time we don't have a a really fast CC out of Happy. And this map isn't a four player map, so it makes sense that he would be playing not as uh, greedy. He might be going for a Reaper here. He's got that gas down pretty quickly as well. We shall see. Mm hmm. Have myself a Kokanee. Actually, I have myself a couple of Kokanees. But I'm having drinking out of one right now. Mm hmm. Yes. I was just looking at that roach all in the red hat, and I actually liked it a lot. I think it was a cool build. It was really fun. I mean, it got scouted a little bit early, and it's just that there's so many numbers of marines and marauders out for the Terran player that he just was able to bust through that. But it was so close. There's huge chokes. Uh, there was a lot of losses for the Terran player that had to pull SCVs and do everything else. But I can understand Rhett leaving after that point because he had lost so many overlords, all of his supply and roaches, and the opponent could have essentially just walked across the map and won. Mm -hmm. And so we don't see anything too crazy coming out of Rhett in this game here. I would expect him, well he did get gas before pool. Two Reapers, actually. One in production, one on the way. A few Lings being made and some Queens. I'm sure he expects there to be some sort of Reaper play early on. Couple of hits on that Reaper there. It's very important that you be careful of what spawns out of the larva down here because as a Terran player, or well, when I get Terran, I will almost always look down here to see if there's a drone that popped out. Ooh, couple of extra hits. Come back, Mousy. There you go. And he starts healing up. Yeah, the queens are out now. This should be all right. There's gonna be extra queens out of Rhett because he always likes getting extra queens. Oh, he moved his lings. They were in the perfect position. Whoops. Whoopsies. Turn player low ground expanding. That's the benefit of being able to go for the Reapers. And we actually see him this game going for the triple command center instead of the extra barracks. Which was also the interesting point about why I think Happy was able to win last game. Is that generally the current Terran meta at the pro level is. You either go for 3 CC after your factory is down. Or you go for three barracks and get extra units out. And Happy was actually planning on going for a big drop, almost his own kind of all-in. Speed is now finished. He's going to chase those Reapers home. Oh, bad lineup there. Halino is able to hit some pretty good shots. Third base is down. Standard timing. A few more links coming out, some queens. Happy does have the propensity to just do run-bys. Even with four Hellions, just to be able to get a little more damage. Scouts to make sure there's a third hatch down. Generally, that means there's not going to be some sort of, you know, roach all in once again. Or if there is, it's delayed. We'll see if we got a bio player. It's going to be mech again from Happy. I have a feeling 
He doesn't have gases yet. I have a feeling that it's going to be Mac because I, I just think he's more confident doing Mac. I know I am. With with good position Mac, you can just last. Somehow you can just draw games out. So he's keeping these units alive. Got a couple more Hellions as well. He's probably going to wait for this to finish. It's a couple of creep tumors for his trouble. It's nice when he can come down here and deny this base. I sometimes do that. Park my Hellions, my Reapers down here and try to kill this off. Killing the third base of the Zerg is really good. If they try to Zergling crush you, you can just get behind the minerals. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, pull back, rat. Did it? Did it? He's trying to run. Oh, he gets the one. But he will have to fall back in case there's a widow mine or something there. Great defense by Rat. I'm surprised. The happy got to like right here. And then the Lynx came in. It was just a perfect trap. I thought he might just go in for the, uh, try and get the workers there. He might have gotten a few. But he did manage to at least get away with some of his Hellions. It is bio this time. Very surprising for me, actually. I very much expected it to be a more focus on the mech. But bio worked out from last game, so eh, we'll see what happens. It's a long game. Anything could happen. Upgrades off to a pretty good start here from our Zerg player. Terran's not far behind. Lair is about to finish. Whoop. We'll see if there is, yep, Spire instantly down. And the macro hatch. I like making macro hatches and expansions just in case if one gets sniped you can get by. Usually you'll lose a hatch because, you know, just the right amount of units got past you. Get torched, son. Overlord spreading out right now in good spots. It's really nice to get out one of those Vikings just to be able to try and shoot some of those down. There is a lot of overlords right now on the map. They do have speed. Pretty sure they have speed. Yes, they do. This is a nice little timing. It's a little bit late to try to deny the third. The third's up and going. But this is just before the Spire is coming out. A lot of Lings on the map. 1-1 one, one is finished. 1-1's one, not quite finished for the Terran. But he can always pick up and leave. That's why I love this kind of pressure from Terrans. Might actually be able to get the denial on the fourth. Overlord gave away his life to scout this. We'll see. No, he does not try for it. Loses one queen for his trouble. That's such a weird spot to fight in. Gonna get quite a few creep tumors for his troubles. That's very worthwhile. It's been a great push by Happy. And once again, he can always pick up and run away. I encourage Terran players even at a lower level. It's a lot of stim though. Gonna go for the main? I guess so. No defenses in the main this time. It's a great position for the Marines. Bane links are coming though. Ooh, great pull. That one medevac is so low. No, don't lose the mutas. Uh, loses two mutas and snipe one medevac. That had nothing in it. Doesn't get the cancel off on that either, actually. So it does clean up the draw, but he... That was a great push from Happy Denied almost... Like, all the major creep. And that's going back again here. All the creep on the left-hand side. And two bases from going down. That worked out really well. Now, that drop should have been spotted by Rep. But we've seen in Game 1 that he does miss his mini-maps once in a while. And there's no defense down here, which is very surprising. In game one, we saw him throw down a spore and a spine just to make sure he was okay.
Mutas were not able to catch the medevac. It does boost and get out of there. Good widow mine spread. Yeah, it's really good to be able to get down a little bit of extra defense around your bunker. Because of this. The Baneling run buys. The oh so popular Baneling run buys. Now he should be able to get in here and kill this still. And give himself a bit of an equalization. You see the rats expanding on the right hand side. This is where all of his creep is. Has some Banelings in tow just in case. It's a pretty good amount of Terran just stuff. Kicking around. Oh, uh, don't lose the queen. Oh, well. Oh, shit. That widow mine shot was fantastic. Mutas will not be able to catch that down. So, even though Rhett's in a good spot, I still give... I still like the momentum that Happy has. He's gotten more damage done this game. More drops going to happen. This base is up. Focusing on the gas. More banning's being morphed. Red does have to focus on getting that creep moving again. Maybe get a couple more queens out. I know he wants his injects. But he needs to get some creep moving. Uh, right now, he's just a little bit too delayed. And having an overlord over here, I'd probably do him a lot of good. This drop is going to get down. Mute is probably going to go home and clean that up. Oh, no! Okay, one second. That is all. Pretty good splits. I mean, it's being as cost effective as possible, but that was a, those were sick widow mine hits. But it wasn't enough. That was really strange. I'm still surprised there's no static defense. As you're seeing their opponent drop time and time again. You know, go for... Go for some drops. Oh, sorry, go for some static defenses here. Uh. Muters are pretty tan. The fresh from the beach, they are very tanned. Another drop happening. Once again, like, he, I mean, he doesn't have a lot of money, but just spore on a spine, just something to delay the Terran player while you put the pressure on. He was about to move that command center, now he's going to make it part of his wall again. So if I'm moving all over the place here, I've had several beers. Several very good beers. So what's the late game here? There's no hive on the way yet. I don't even think there's an infestation pit down. Nice pickup. Those are some very, very happy soldiers in that. Gonna move out, try and clear some creep again. Rhett's trying to move that creep. I think it's more important for him to focus. Wow, that's a lot of mutas. I think it's more important for him to focus on his defensive creep, connecting his bases, as opposed to this offensive creep that the Terran player can more easily move out and deal with. Good hits. That's a lot of medevacs. It'd be very, very nice to snipe those off. I still would like to see Rhett, even though he's maxed, get his late game tech going, get the Ultralisk tech moving. Banelings! Banelings! There's one drone in there too, just... Oh, man! Oh, I almost wanted to tangle, just take all those medevacs. Taking all those medevacs would be so good. 
couple of static defenses down here. It's nice to see. Get poked. Poke. Poke. Triggers a few of the Widow Mines. Uh oh. Uh, big Widow Mine shots. Oh, uh, he lost all of his Overseers though, unfortunately. Oh, he's got one left. Oh, this is a tough spot here for Happy. Oh, the Widow might Well, took out the Overseer. If that means anything. Uh-oh. Uh, back out, Rhett. You've lost all of your stuff. You have no more stuff. See, that'd be a good spot for some mutas. These, uh, sorry, for some banlings. These mutas are so hurt, though. Oh, man. He lost so many of his mutas. So, Happy did get hurt really bad. But without that really high tech, right? There's no hive down. There's no infestation pit. Those mutas are his ticket. And I would actually like to see, once again, him move that creep around between his bases and get some static D. Does have the banelings here? I mean, that helps. But you'd rather your army be fighting, static defense taking care of the bases. Trying to rebuild that mutal flock. He's got tons and tons of gas. He's just super shy on minerals right now. Oh, crap. Great Widow Mine hits, but once again, just not enough stuff from Happy. I mean, he can't afford to go for his drops anymore. There's so much good space for drops. Wait, there is a drop. Let's see those banelings. They didn't get it done. Oh, that's... Ugh. That's why I'm just a little miffed here. Like, Rhett's got such the, a good opportunity right now. And... Happy staying in this because of the... Just... Some simple things, right? Some infestors, a spore crawler, something to just deal with this. I mean, the Terran's mining out. Look at, that's all mining from one mineral patch. It's done in a, less than a minute. That's empty. And this is actually almost empty too. So the Terran's in sad shape. I mean, no, don't get me wrong. Red has a really good lead right now, but his supply lead isn't that big. There's the mutas. What's his upgrades? 2-1. He might have enough to just put a little bit of hurt on the main base, but it's not necessarily even worth it. There's no harassment to really get done. He's not going to kill the production facilities. Well, he knows where the Terran is now. Still no hive tech. Lots of upgrades for the mutas. I can appreciate the mutas. I think if you had some ultralisks to roll through those widow mine shots, there's no marauders in this army. I don't think he's even set up. Well, he's got only one tech lab on barracks right now. I think some well. I, I know he doesn't have the upgrades. I think right now for it. Yeah, actually, he's got plus two, plus two right now. Uh, plus two on the way for that. Empire Happy's getting very close to being all in very soon. He's moving one of his other command centers into deal. A lot of widow mines. It triggers four of the what four, thirteen widow mines. I don't know what all these mutas are doing over here. He could go for a run by. And I'm surprised he hasn't tried that yet. Just a few handful of mutalisks. Some realistic zerglings. Run them in here. Hit the supply depots. Just be a pest. Burrowed banlings are also really nice. Though he is doing a lot of scanning right now.
Gotta keep them overseers alive. Buying this, he is finally mining over here. He does just take on a handful of... Ooh. Took on a handful of marines there. The marines are fully upgraded, so it's difficult to say if it's worthwhile. They are 2-2 two -two mutas. Bit of bad control there from Rat. He's actually lost a lot of his overlords in this. There's a ton of mutas. But he needs that big zergling number. That queen sacrificed herself for nothing. There's the zerglings you want to just run in, take some damage, trigger the widow mines. Oh, that's so messy. Rat, what are you doing? Oh god. Just go around and attack the base. This is so bad for Rat right now. He was in an amazing position. He's got 26 banelings on the way. He killed a lot of the widow mines from what I can see. He's got to sense something over here to disrupt this. Eight lings would be enough. That's so many banelings. He's got to go after that base though. Get the economy. Oh, he's got so few mutas left right now. This is... It's almost becoming all in-ish for Rhett now. I think he's got to go after that base. Yeah, I can see him moving that way. It's nice that he's scanning ahead. He's doing that, I think, just to be able to see if there's any Burrow Banelings. Which I'm very surprised Rhett hasn't done. Couple links over here denying some mules. It's not lost for happy right now, though. Rhett's only mining off of one base. Look at all these idle drones. Even a long distance mine them or something would be worthwhile. Lots of banelings. He's got the gas bank. He just doesn't have the mineral bank. This is actually a lot closer than I thought it would be. Having Burrow would be nice, too, just to cost some scans. I think that's the last... Nope, we still got two command centers left. Oh, come on, Rat. I'd cheer for Team Liquid above almost any other team. He triggered some of the Widow Mines here. No, the Mutas! Did he pull his drones? What? What? Oh, man, maybe I've had too many beers, but I'm... That's sickening! Oh man. Still mining. He didn't have to give away those mutas. He didn't have to like risk all that on this one base. I mean, it's important now that the Terran's mining, but... You know, just go back to basics. Get some burrowed banelings. Be smart, be tactical. These bases are all open. Go for some zergling runbys. I don't know, maybe Red played too many StarCraft this day or something, but I, there's some... Like, just cleanliness to his play that was missing. Anyways, best of three set goes to Happy. I am, I am a fan of Happy. I just generally cheer for Team Liquid first. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Psycho Starcraft, and we'll talk with you guys later.